Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be announcing a huge update to Motion Essentials. Motion Essentials is my motion graphics plugin for Fusion 17 that helps you save time and effort when creating motion graphics. It is 100% compatible with DaVinci Resolve, the studio version of DaVinci Resolve, and the standalone version of Fusion 17. This plugin includes free updates from Motion Essentials version 1 to Motion Essentials version 2. So if you guys already have Motion Essentials version 1, make sure to check your email for an upgraded link. Motion Essentials has a pop-up window that allows you to add motion graphics elements by clicking an image preview. You can then click on the group that it added in and get access to the most common controls. If you guys want full control over the presets, you can double click on it and see exactly how it was made. By adding in a bunch of these, you guys can create a professional looking animation in a matter of minutes. Now, let's check out what it can do. So what is new in version 2 of this plugin? This plugin includes 52 fully customizable presets. That's double the amount that was in the first plugin. All of these elements have been redesigned from the ground up for more customization, better performance, and easier use. Another huge update is native motion blur support. You could do it in the last version, but you had to manually open up all of the presets and go through and find the right nodes to turn motion blur on. Now you can turn it on within a few clicks. But I didn't stop there. I added global motion blur control. By default, each preset will be set to this option. What this does is it will refer back to the motion blur controls in the motion essentials node. That way you can just adjust a few controls and it updates all of your presets that are in your node graph. If you guys want each element to be different, you can set it to local mode or just completely turn it off. You can now change the color of each element. Previously you had to open up the group and find the background node, but now you can just shift over to the color tab in each preset and you have all of your color controls. I added some transform controls so now you no longer need to manually add a transform node after each node. These transform controls include the center, size, and angle. And last but not least, the performance of all these elements have been greatly improved, allowing for faster playback time. Okay, so once you have bought the pack, off of my store and downloaded it, you will have a Motion Essentials file. To install this, you just need to drag it right into the Fusion node graph. A pop-up will appear and once you go through the steps, restart Fusion, it will be ready to use. Once you've restarted, you're ready to use the elements. To do this, enter a new Fusion composition, do Shift Space, and then type Motion Essentials. Press Enter to add in the Motion Essentials node. You can connect the newly added node to your node graph, and then open the inspector and click on Browse Presets. A pop-up window will appear with three different tabs that all of the motion graphic elements are separated into. Each one of these has image previews, and by clicking on the image preview, it will add in that element to your node graph. Once you've added in all of the elements that you'd like, you can just close right out of the UI, and you can access that anytime by going back to the Motion Essentials node and clicking browse presets. Okay, so now it's time to customize all of the elements that you just added in. First step is to click on the node and then open the inspector. Inside the inspector, you will be able to see all of the common controls. You can do stuff like position, size, angle, motion blur, and a bunch of other stuff. We can use some of the on-screen controls to change stuff like the position of it. You can also easily add in delays so that your element starts a few frames later. If you want to change its color, you can click the color tab up at the top. The motion blur control is probably the coolest update in this entire pack. By default, each node will be set to global. So what that means is it will take all of its motion blur settings from the motion essentials node. Just go to the motion essentials node and check on motion blur. And that will update all the presets that you have added and the ones that you will add eventually. If you want some of those presets to be separate from the global motion blur controls, you can set it to local or even turn it off. So who is this plugin made for? First off, this plugin is great for beginners in Fusion and people that don't really want to spend all the time learning how to develop all of these assets. If you don't want to spend the time, it does it all for you. But if you're a beginner and want to learn, you can break all these assets down and see how I went about creating them to be as optimized as possible. Another reason is it will save you hours. With the time that this plugin saves you, you can spend more time being creative and focusing on working for clients. And another great reason is you get free updates to the next version. So pretty quick here, I'll be releasing a video where I use Motion Essentials to create a motion graphic animation. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. You will be able to see what this plugin is actually capable of and how much time it actually saves you. If you guys want to learn more about the pack and see all of the included elements, make sure to check out the link down below. I want to give a huge shout out to David from Learn Now FX. Just like last time, he designed this awesome UI window for Motion Essentials. He also has an amazing motion graphics plugin called Motion Pal. This is another huge time saving plugin when it comes to animation. It's something that I use all the time and if you guys want to see my in-depth review, that is also linked down below. And using the code in the description, you guys can save 10% off when purchasing that. Please let me know if you guys have any suggestions for the next version of this pack. I'm always looking on how to improve it and make it the best motion graphics plugin for DaVinci Resolve. 
well. But that's going to be it for this video. If you guys want to stay up to date on all the videos that I put out, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on a brand new video. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time for another video.